Hey y'all, my name's Tito and today we're gonna be diving into the top five most profitable food truck concepts. Just to give you a little more context, I started my food truck business seven years ago by selling tacos from a cooler on the side of the road. Today I have two food trucks and two restaurants with over 55 employees. Okay, let's get into it. Before you start a food truck in 2023, make sure you know where the money's at. Money, money, money's at. I think you're gonna be surprised by the number one money maker at the end. All right, number five starting with a pizza food truck concept. You almost can't go wrong. This one is a customer's favorite, has a high profit margin, and no matter where you go, there's always a demand for pizza. Some things to consider before launching your own pizza truck is the competition is very high. There's also very large startup costs for equipment. You've really gotta educate yourself on the fire safety requirements to start a pizza truck. All of this can be overcome, it's just better going into it prepared. The best place to start, call your local health department and fire inspector. Make sure to have a pen and paper handy to take down all the notes. Number four, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. There's always a line at the local ice cream truck. The good thing about ice cream, it requires very little prep and the training for staff is very minimal. You don't need very skilled labor to scoop ice cream and to put it in a cone. High school students make great employees for ice cream trucks. Contact your local high school and see if you can advertise to students before summer starts. One thing to consider is that the demand for ice cream is very seasonal. So unless you're in a warm climate year round, the demand for ice cream is sure to decrease. To combat the slump in sales, you can offer savory food menu items. You could also turn your ice cream business into a seasonal business. If this is the route you choose, make sure you're on top of your food food truck finances. Putting away money for winter is non-negotiable. Number three, popcorn. Pop, 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 and leg is hot. Although popcorn is very pop -ular. <laughs> This food concept is tough to scale. There just isn't a heavy demand for it outside of fairs and festivals. Oftentimes, the event coordinators have existing relationships with already established popcorn vendors. Before purchasing your equipment, call around to local events. Ask if they have space for a popcorn vendor, what the event fee is, and if you would be the only one selling popcorn. Vending popcorn is great if your goal is to make a lot of money and work seasonally. Make no mistake, it's still very, very hard work. Number two, coffee. The key to a successful coffee truck is you have to stand out. Whether it's organic, free trade, or fresh baked pastries, find something that your customers can only get from you. The top mistake that I see new coffee truck owners make is not branding their coffee. Every time a customer buys a hot cup of joe from you, you have the chance to make a connection with them. Your branding should be everywhere, on your truck, on the cup, even in the smiles and conversations you exchange. With the right focus on branding, coffee trucks can scale to additional food trucks and even restaurant locations. Now, the number one most profitable food truck is, drum roll please, shaved ice and lemonade. That's right, those roadside lemonade stands with the 10 year olds running them are making more Benjamins than you, baby. Why are they so profitable? Well, when you think about it, all they are really selling is water and sugar. Those are two of the least expensive ingredients out there. Although you'll find the highest profit margins in shaved ice and lemonade, it's also one of the lowest average sales. You can't just charge $10 for a cup of sugar water. You'll need to find ways to increase your average sale through marketing and add-ons. You can sell a cup of organic lemonade much higher than a cup of regular lemonade. Would you like some fresh baked cookies with that lemonade? Better yet, how about some gluten-free, dairy-free, GMO-free, and organic cookies? Oh great, that'll be $30. And that's it. You now know the top five most profitable food truck concepts in 2023. Thanks for hanging out and watching. I'm excited and eager to hear what you think. Let me know what other food truck videos you'd like to see in the comment section below. Oh, and if you'd be willing to subscribe and hit the like button, I would be super grateful.